Hello, I'm Aideen and I'm really excited because Christmas is almost here. And one of my favorite things to do at Christmas time is to decorate my Christmas tree. And what better to decorate it with than some homemade decorations. So today I'm gonna to show you how to transform some humble lolly sticks into four kinds of decorations for your tree. We're gonna make snowflakes, stars, angels, and Christmas trees. Welcome to Playful Pathways. Okay, to make your Christmas tree decorations, here are the things you're going to need. Lolly sticks, strong glue, string or ribbon, paper, sticky tape, scissors, wire cutters, pipe cleaners, and any kinds of decorations that you've got handy, like pens, uh, pom-poms, sparkly jewels, paint, beads, cotton wool, and of course, glitter. Let's start with the snowflake. Okay, right, to make your snowflake, you're going to need four lolly sticks like these, which you're going to arrange in a snowflake pattern, stacked on top of each other like this one. If you want to, you can use some strong glue and put a little bit of glue in between each of those lolly sticks and then leave it to dry and that will give you your strong snowflake shape and then you can add a piece of ribbon to it later. Or you can do what I'm going to do here, which is to take a long piece of ribbon or string and your four lolly sticks stacked one on top of the other and put them in the middle of your long piece of ribbon or string like this. And then I'm gonna give my ribbon a bit of a twist. I'm not gonna tie it off, just gonna give it a bit of a twist like this so that they're all tight together. Then I'm going to split my sticks. So there's two together and two one way, two the other way. And then I'm gonna take my twist and I'm gonna wrap it in between those sticks. So it's sort of making a bit of an X shape there and turn it over so that my ribbon is now on the other side. Give it another little twist, like that. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Okay, you can even use, if your grown-up is doing the twisting and turning, your job can be to put your finger in the middle there and hold it still. Then we're gonna take two of these sticks and move them apart like this. So it's looking a little bit like helicopter propellers now. And give it a twist, and I'm gonna put the ribbon in between those and around again to the other side. Give it another twist. So it's holding it all in place. And then there should be the last one where you've got two together. Pull those apart. Oh, they're tight now. Pull them apart. And get your ribbon in between. There it is. And now you can see all of my sticks are going in different directions with ribbons in between each of those joins so that they're holding them in place. Now I'm gonna tie it off to hold it secure. Give a couple of knots at the back there so it's holding it in the right place. And then if they've gone a little bit skew with, this is the point that you can sort of wriggle them and move them so that they're evenly spaced and you've got your snowflake shape like that with a nice long bit of ribbon here that you can tie off at the top so you can hang it on the tree. There it is. Right, so there you have it, a snowflake shape, which you can now decorate however you want. These are some that I have made, and I have chosen to decorate one of these with some silver paint and glitter, and the other one I have made fluffy and puffy with some cotton wool, but of course you can do whatever you like, pens, paint, sparkles, however you choose to decorate them. Okay, let's get ready to make the next decoration, which is a star. Okay, for this, you're going to need five lolly sticks. I've chosen some colorful ones here, but of course you can use plain ones or ones that you've already decorated if you want to. What we're going to be doing is arranging these lolly sticks in a star shape like this. Mm -hmm. Crisscross, crisscross, and then, ta-da! Can you see? And you're gonna be using some strong glue and putting a little blob underneath each of the joins and even underneath the parts where they overlap with each other if you can get in there, okay? 
So let me start with this first one. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Blob there. And then that's going to go on top. And then the next one. So that's sort of making an A shape there. And then the next one needs to go sort of at an angle that cuts sort of through the middle of the first stick. And the next one. Across like that. That's the way. And a little bit there. And a little bit there. And as I said, if you want to make it extra secure, you can add a little bit of glue under each of the bits where the sticks are overlapping with each other. So you might have to do a little bit of a wriggle at this point just to make sure that those ends of the sticks are matching each other. There it is, that last little join. Then of course, if you're using glue like this, you're gonna to have to leave it to dry for a little while, like I've done with this one here. You can see I put lots and lots of strong glue on it. And so then you can decorate it however you want. So this one here, you can see, Ooh, that's gonna be left to dry for a while before it can be decorated. This one, is ready to go. So I could put some sparkles on it, some pom-poms, I can draw on it. This one you can see I've put spots on it. Anything you like. Okay, shall we get on to making our third decoration? It's a cute little angel. And for this one you're going to need two lolly sticks which we're going to stick together to become the legs and the body of your angel. So we'll put some tape across them like this, wrap it around so it's nice and tight and firm. There we go. And if you want to, you can even add some cute little shoes like I did on that one. I've just used plain dolly sticks for this one, but of course you can use the colorful ones if you prefer. And I'm going to make my angel's dress out of white paper. You can use colorful paper if you want to, or perhaps some paper that you've decorated yourself. To make the dress, I'm gonna take the piece of paper and fold it in the corner like that. So it's sort of making a pointy shape like that, fold it in the corner. And then, I don't want my dress to be too long. I don't want it to go all the way down. So have a think about it. So it's starting at the top there, maybe to go down to about that length there. And I'm going to then cut a circle shape across. So it sort of looks like a pizza slice, like that. Like a slice of pizza. And then I'm gonna fold my slice of pizza over a few times, this way, that way, this way, that way. Concertina it back and forth. There we go. So you've got a really skinny slice of pizza. And then using these scissors, I'm going to cut tiny little holes on the edges. So cut some teeny tiny little holes just on the edges. That's what's going to make the pattern shape that you can see on the other angel over there. And this is a bit of a fiddly tricky job. So you might need some help from a grown up for this one. Here we go. Let's put a few more little shapes in there. Just cutting little triangles on each side. Let's see how this looks. Fold them all the way out. Right, there we go. Open it up. Aha! And there we have it. That's going to be the angel's dress. So, if that's going to be at the top, then we probably don't need that top little bit. Let's just snip that off. And there is the angel's dress. We're going to stick that on using a little bit of tape. So let's get some bits and fold them over. So they're sticky on the back and on the front. Put one bit there at the top and another bit there a bit further down. Okay, there's the angel's dress, which is really coming together like that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna give this angel a head. So taking a piece of paper, see if you can cut a circle or a roundy type shape that's going to become your angel's head. Okay. There. So that's gonna go right on top there. Let's put another little bit of tape on the back to hold that in place. And of course, if you want to use some strong glue to make this even stronger, you can do that however you like. Oh, let's have a look at that. So the angel now has a dress and it's got a head as well. So let's give it some wings. Now I used some white pipe cleaners for these ones, but I've managed to find some sparkly pipe cleaners. So I'm gonna use these ones for the wings. I'm gonna curl it into a shape there. 
around like this. Put a little bit of tape on it so it's around in a, a circle. And hold that together with some tape. There's one wing. And now I'm gonna use the other. Wrap that around. Again, you can use any colored pipe cleaners that you like, or if you have another idea for your wings, you could try that out. And then turning it over onto the back. Here we go. So I'm gonna use the places where the sticky tape has joined them together. And that's the place that I'm going to use to add some extra tape onto, to hold that in place on the back. There it is. Hold those wings in place. I'm going to trim off that little bit of sticky tape which is peeking out over the side. We don't need that. There it is. So there's the angel's wings and you can shape them if you want to. Make them into pointy wings, round wings, whichever kind of wings you want. And then how about a halo? I just drew one on, on this one. But if you want to, if you've got something like this, you could shape it into a circle at the top. Give it a little twist around. So you've got a sort of a lasso, a hoop at one end like that. And then we could add that onto the back as well. And add that on with a little bit of tape. So it looks like our angel has a halo. How's that? Okay, it's time now to move on to our fourth and final Christmas tree decoration. It's going to be a little Christmas tree. Okay, so for this one, you're going to need seven lolly sticks. We're going to use six of them for the branches of the tree and one for the trunk. Again, you can choose colorful ones, you can use one you've already decorated, it's up to you. This is what we're gonna do and it gets a little bit tricky here, so you're definitely gonna to have to work with your grown up for this one. Because each of the branches need to get a little bit smaller the higher up the tree we go. So grabbing a pen or a pencil, start with your lowest branch and measure out how long you want that one to be. Maybe around about that length. And then the next one needs to be a bit smaller than that. So let's take it in by about roughly a centimeter or so. Okay, and then the next one is gonna be like that. And then each one is gonna get smaller than the one before until we work our way up to the smallest branch at the top. And here is where it gets really tricky because the lolly sticks are too tough to cut through with scissors. So your grown up is definitely gonna to have to do the job of getting some wire cutters and cutting, oh squeeze, cutting that lolly stick to the shape and the sizes that you need them to be. Now that job takes a little while. So here are some that I cut before so I can show you what to do next once you've got them all cut. You're going to have one, two, I'm gonna arrange them in the right order here the right size order, three, a little bit of a space in between each one. There we go, four, five, and six, there they are. A little bit of an even space between them, and this is gonna be the trunk of my tree in between. So what you wanna do then is get your, the trunk of your tree and put a line of strong glue down the middle. That's what's gonna hold your tree all together like that, holding each of those branches on. So you've got a little bit peeking out at the top, so you've got something for your star or whatever decoration you want to put on the top of the tree. There's something for that to hold on to. And you've also got a bit of space at the bottom so we can see that it's the tree trunk. Right, okay, I'm going to move this one across to the side there, make some space so we can have a look at this Christmas tree, which is the one I made before. So this one I've used some ribbons to decorate each of the branches. You might like to do something like add some pom-poms for the baubles on the tree. Or perhaps you might like to add some beads like this, which can look like the, the tinsel that you have on your tree wrapped around it like that. Or you might like to put a jewel on the top. I've used a, a pipe cleaner there to make a star on the top of my tree, but you could add something else sparkly on the top like that. And of course, don't forget to add some ribbon or some string so that you can hang it up. I have tied my ribbon around that first branch so that it's nice and tight and strong on there and it's ready to hang on the tree. So there we have it. Four homemade and perfectly unique Christmas decorations for your tree. I think I might hang some on my tree and see how they look. 
I hope you have fun making these Christmas tree decorations with your grown-up at your house. Oh, look at that, we've got snowflakes and angels and Christmas trees and stars. If you would like a full list of the materials and the instructions so that you can be helped to remember how to make them at home, then make sure you head to my Patreon page. And if you've liked this video and you want to see more, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you again soon. Merry Christmas!